there's a figure that I often quote in my microphone reviews, and that's a thing called SPL or Max SPL. What that means, Max Maximum, SPL sound pressure level and it's one of those figures that many people don't take any notice of because they just think a mic is a mic it's going to work what does it sound like but what they don't look at is how much sound can the mic take before the capsule on the front starts to break up in other words you can't do anything about it if you exceed the max SPL what happens is the capsule is vibrating as normal and as soon as you exceed it sends a distorted signal straight into your camera and it doesn't matter what level you set your camera at, it's going to be distorted. Unfortunately, I've come across two microphones that do have a low SPL. Normally with low speech you're not going to notice, but when a car or something loud goes by you are going to notice and these are microphones designed to be taken outside in traffic around vlogging and all that sort of thing. No matter what you do, if you've got a low SPL you can't do anything at all about distortion. So let's show you what I mean. This is a dynamic microphone and this is the way it would normally be used on a stage or whatever. But the nice thing about a dynamic microphone is they do have a very high SPL. So when you talk loudly into these microphones, they don't tend to distort quite so easily. In fact, any distortion is going to come from my camera, I suspect, when the limiter starts to kick in. But this is the sound of the microphone when you're just talking straight into the camera using a dynamic. And as I get closer, it's probably going to get a lot louder. But um, as I get louder, hopefully it's not distorting. And now I'm getting stupidly loud and I'm trying to look at the thing. Right, OK, I'm still not hit zero yet, so I'm still OK as far as my meter goes on my camera. And now I'm really, really, really loud. And maybe on some peaks, maybe my camera is now starting. Don't think it is, but it might be starting to clip the thing just at the top, clip the tops off. And if I get really, really loud, this is the sound of a dynamic that's really really loud sorry that this sounds so bad probably this microphone is the rode video mic pro plus this one is nice i really like this outdoors this has a probably quite a high spl i suspect so when i get close to this microphone this is what this microphone actually sounds like i'm trying to look at the um the dial on my uh, camera to see how much that is going up now, I'm going to now start to try and exceed the maximum SPL. So get your ears ready because I don't want them to bleed. I'm getting louder and I'm getting louder. And now I'm shouting into this microphone as loud as I can. And now this might be exceeding the maximum SPL of this microphone because I'm very close to it and speaking loud. So that's what the Rode VideoMic Pro Plus sounds like if you scream into it. This is the Rode VideoMic NTG. And this one, I think, has a specific problem with its maximum SPL. When you're talking normally into this microphone, for most voices, it's probably going to be OK. OK, now I've got this at minimum volume, so it's a very, very low, just about uh, picking me up there now. So now it's not even going into any clipping on my camera. Hang on, let me turn it up a bit because I can see it just about because I need my glasses. Okay, now I'm getting louder and louder and now I'm really shouting loud, but on my dial, I'm well below the zero point. It's not it's not distorting in my camera whatsoever. But once you put a loud sound into the front of these microphones, they really start to distort quite badly. This is Rode's brand new video mic Go 2 and it's a fairly good sounding microphone, quite nice for vlogging, except for one thing. The maximum SPL, again, isn't high enough, I think, for some vlogging situations. So when a car goes past or something nasty goes past, this thing is going to start distorting. Now I've got no volume controls on this whatsoever, so my camera is automatically going to limit the top but listen to the crunching as it gets louder. Because as you get louder on this, now I've got it quite close, and I'm only speaking at normal volume with the microphone very close. This is quite loud for any microphone to pick up, but we might well now be into distortion via the microphone, basically because I've exceeded the maximum SPL. If it is exceeded now, I've got no chance when I get even louder, and if I get even louder and louder, it's just going to distort, and there's nothing I can do about that in post. So now I hope 
hope your ears aren't bleeding after that assault on them because that was quite nasty. Now, you wouldn't normally shout into a microphone and, you know, it's not a normal thing. But I'm just trying to show you that once you get that distortion in the front of the microphone on that capsule, the distorted signal goes down the wire into your camera. There is nothing you will be able to do about that except grin and bear it. So that Max SPL figure can be important and now it seems it's especially important with new Rode microphones. The newer ones are coming out with low SPL figures. So the Rode NTG sounds fantastic. It's a great sounding mic. I really like the sound of it, especially indoors actually. It's very nice. But if you get a loud noise going into the front end, there is nothing you can do about it. And unfortunately, Rode have done it again with the new Rode Go 2. So beware that if you're going to use either of those microphones for vlogging, you're possibly going to get distortion on loud sounds like traffic or airplanes or la anything loud distorts really quite badly because you're too close to that Max SPL. Hope this was useful to you and hope to see you next time. Cheers for now. Music